Ann Kiefer. I'm a dental hygienist and I'm director of clinical education for Crosstex. Biological monitoring is the final step in sterility assurance. We're going to be speaking specifically about mail-in biological testing. When you receive a test envelope, one side is actually going to be closed. This is the control strip side because you don't want to run it through your sterilizer. The other side is open. That spore strip is going to be placed in the most challenging part of the sterilizer. In the center or the back corner above the drain or else on the bottom tray in the front by the door. After the sterilizer has run, the test strip will be removed, placed back into the test side of the envelope and mailed off to the lab for processing. For increased sterility assurance in your practice, you may opt to do a two-strip test. As just with the other one, on the control side, that strip stays inside. It is not processed. The two strips will be removed from the test side of the envelope and placed in two challenge areas of the sterilizer, run through a normal cycle, and then placed back in for mailing. The important thing to note with a mail-in type system is it can be used in a steam sterilizer, in a chemical sterilizer, in a dry heat sterilizer. I want to take a second to talk a little bit about dry heat sterilization. The difference between steam sterilization and dry heat sterilization and how it works. The saturated steam transmits the heat to the instruments directly. However, with a dry heat process, the actual heat has to be transferred and that process takes a little bit longer because it has to heat those instruments up to temperature. When you have a paper strip, there's no way to transmit the heat. So you have to have that strip in constant contact with metal. Some manufacturers of dry heat sterilizers will provide a clip at the top of the chamber that the spore strip can be clipped to during the process. However, if your particular dry heat sterilizer does not have either of those options, you can always use a simple large jumbo paper clip. Put it carefully on the paper strip and then place the entire spore strip and clip in the sterilizer to process. Thank you.